Hi, Rob Backway from Undira, uh, Victoria, Golden Valley area. I'm currently farming, uh, I own 270 acres uh, of cropping, uh, winter wheat, canola and lupins. Um, I lease another 500 acres uh, surrounding. The Lancare group is uh, Undira, um, it's only a small, small group, um, uh, but we try and have workshops uh, um, and get a few farmers active and just uh, learning um, and new experiences in uh, soil health. Um, here we are um, at Undira uh, on, on my farm. Uh, it's in the Paddock of Lupins, it's in the, in the Catchment Management Authority area in Shepparton. Uh, this is a Paddock of Lupins that I've sown through uh, stubble, wheat stubble that I've grown previous year. Uh, normally I would burn the stubble but uh, this year we left the stubble and sowed through it. We have uh, sown straight through the stubble um, and on retaining straw for the lupins is important. Um, it helps stop black spot which is caused from rain when they're, they're hitting the ground soil and splashing back up onto the plant. So by leaving the straw there uh, helps to prevent that um, and also uh, if the season turns dry um, can retain moisture uh, on the ground so allowing uh, not, not to dry out too quick. Um, then on the other hand if it comes in too wet it can also help um, as a mat um, for you to drive onto the paddock um, if you need to put a spray out on, on your paddock. But the field days that were held uh, through Landcare Group um, uh, was uh, on soil health. Uh, Gwen Jones was the, uh, the host for the day um, on, on another farm um, and spoke about retaining uh, or trying introducing worms and, and soil health and biology. Uh, uh, I learnt so much out of it. Um, it was uh, Everything was a new experience for me just on the way that I looked at soil health now. Um, overall, walking into a paddock um, and you know, looking down uh, at the soil, seeing whether it's healthy, uh, looking for uh, weeds, you know, and if there is a weed there, is there a lot of weeds? Um, that experience has been uh, very changing for me. The workshop topics uh, included um, on the soil health, uh, biology of the soil and the functions um, and the process of the soil, uh, learning about minerals, nutrients, um, where they go and what they do, uh, how they cycle, uh, plant indicators, uh, nitrate weeds, uh, earthworms and their benefits and the cycling of nutrition. Um, um, and we done a dig up and look, uh, monitoring and measuring on through soil testing. Um, after these uh, days or three days with Gwen Jones, um, I've taken away uh, a lot of information. Um, the first one was on uh, worms castings uh, in the in the soil, um, and how important straw um, retaining straw on soil and organic matter. Um, I've uh, got, tried to get away from as burning as much um, and uh, doing, keeping um, manure, trying to get manure back in. I've just started trying uh, goat manure and, and pig manure. Um, just about to put it out now. You dig up soil with a magnifying glass and go and have a look. Um, and then if you haven't got anything, well then you can start, then you can start asking questions say, so, right, where can I go from now? Well, farmers have always been looking out for the soil, but it's about new ideas um, and that we, we can embrace a um, little bit of technology. If we can have these field days um, or workshop days, um, it makes, makes, the, uh, makes farmers a bit more aware of, of the soil and soil health.